time in Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines for the state wrestling tournament. 2A started things off today, and we had six Albia wrestlers and one Centerville. They all came prepared, and they're all ready to be the last man standing on Saturday. We'll start with Shadow Lushen at 126, and no surprise, Shadow headed into state with an undefeated record, not planning on getting his first loss anytime soon. He beat Mason Miller of Wintrust. I feel good, you know, it's just first round is out of the way. That's the most important round is getting out of it first. And once you get out of there, it's just pretty much just got to keep rolling. His little brother, Bryce, was up next at 132. One year stronger and one year smarter, Bryce made the first round look easy, winning by fall. You know, I just came in the match, I guess, you know, ready to wrestle. And I, you know, don't take any match lightly and just, I um, guess I'm ready. He wasn't. Bradley Irwin of Centerville was up next. He came in with a record of 42 and 13 and beat Trevor McLaughlin of Union LaPorte City by decision. The last lesson, Brett wrestled at 160 and took note from his brothers, winning by decision over Jake Voss of West Delaware, Manchester. With the Lushens and Osing Dunn, Albia's 170 Dalton Folkerts and their 195 Carter Isley were the only two left. Folkerts would be the only loss of the day, losing in a close match 4-3, but he'd win his consolation match, which keeps him in the running for third place. And last but definitely not least, Albia's young guy, sophomore Carter Isley, finished the Blue Demons Day off with a big win over Reed Dreyer of Humboldt. I was very nervous going to that match. He was ranked third and stuff, and he was a good wrestler, and I just came in and dominated him. A lot of Albia wrestlers said it's much easier dealing with the environment when there are so many of them competing. It takes the edge off, but also adds to a different kind of pressure. See, I'm not just all about me. I'm, I'm with them, too. You know, we're all one together. It's like, if he wins, obviously I'm going to win, because I have to win now, or else you know, I'll get crap. So I'm going to go out there and win every match. Albia is back to compete tomorrow, and we'll have highlights and results for the duration of the tournament. And to end our 6 o'clock updates, I'm here with Connor Meyer, a Temwa's one and only representative here who just uh, killed it on the mat, uh, getting a pin in the first match. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel great. I'm just looking forward to continuing on the tournament. You didn't look nervous. Are, are, are you, were you nervous at all going out there? Um, I was. It's a huge venue, and there's a big crowd out there, but once you get on that mat, it's the same size as any other gym, so... Well, we're excited to see how you do tomorrow, and we'll definitely have updates. If you want to go to heartlandconnection.com, you can catch all the updates and results there, and we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Get some rest, get some food, get some water. Anything else to say? Nope. Just, if you can make it through the weather, come up and watch. It's a great event. You definitely should. You're missing out if not. So for now, uh, I'm Camden Ray, and I'm in Des Moines, and I'll be back tomorrow. So stay tuned.